Today in The Forge, we're doing something that we've never done before, a completely unique challenge. On your anvils as a cloth, go ahead and lift that up. Gentlemen, that is a block of titanium. It's easy to work when it's hot, moves well under the hammer, but it's hard to grind and drill on. Go ahead and pick it up. There you go, kid. It tasted it. I don't know. But when I get nervous, I like to lick things. <laughs> the material that you're working with isn't the only thing that we're doing different today. We still haven't told you what you're making yet. In your first round of competition, you'll be making this. A titanium handle. You're going to be making your handles before you ever make a blade. Uh, what? Handle? Now? My plan is we're going to start with an integral guard because I want to make the handle flow as much as I can. Well, Jared's grabbed one of the porta bands and it looks like he's cutting his billet of titanium lengthwise. I think he might be trying to split that open and make an integral guard. I'm going to start by splitting one end down an inch and a half to give me the three inch guard that I need. Because an inch and a half times two is three. I'm really good at math, let me tell you. So good. <laughs> Man, this challenge is crazy. I came in ready to make a knife first and then the handle, so we're putting the cart before the horse. I like it. It's pretty cool. Man, it moves easy. The press really squished it. Son of a bit. Now I got to fix that. Titanium is a funny thing. This stuff is upset so easily, yeah. it's really malleable. It doesn't move as predictably as steel does. So I take it over to my anvil, I grab a hot cut, and I start cutting on it to get rid of that overly squished steel to get that out of there. I'm immediately thinking about how I'm going to make a hole for a tank. The easiest way to drill into this material is to have it hot. Well, I don't know anything about titanium, but I know it moves better saw. Drilling into hot titanium, you ruin the temper on your drill bit, and it just seizes up and doesn't work. So you, you always want to drill at about room temperature, certainly not at, at red heat. I realize that I have cooked this bit, uh, lost the temper, and it's not cut anymore. I just four welds this together. So I have basically done my first forge on Forge and Fire, only it's a drill bit to a piece of titanium that I'm supposed to be making a handle out of. Burn a half an hour on that. If I try to get this drill bit out, I'm going to burn a ton of time starting from scratch, because if I'm going to restart, now's the time. Once I get the guard kind of worked a little bit in the press, I go ahead and put that aside. Now I got to tackle the actual handle. So over here, Dorian's getting his pipe wrench set up to do some twists. <laughs> Dorian is, gonna, is in for a bit of a surprise. This stuff, compared to steel, twists extremely easily. All right, there's one hole twist. And he's going for a second hole twist here. I was a paratrooper in the Army. So everything I've done in my life has kind of been nose to the grindstone and work hard. And bladesmithing is just another thing in my life that I try to be great at. Bladesmiths, one hour has elapsed. You got 60 minutes remaining to finish your work. Hot metal behind you. Got a new piece of metal. I'm going to worry about drilling later. I got a new plan. I'm going to try an integral guard, because that means I don't have to cut anything. So Colin is basically working with his second billet yeah. over here. I start whacking it on the anvil. I know I've got to get this thing to bloom. I've got to get it to open up. I know a through tang is going to be really tough, so I'm just going to stick with a hidden tang. My plan is to drill out two holes in my handle, and then I'm going to file that area off in between. Dorian seems to be doing great over here on the drill press. He's not having as much trouble drilling this material as I thought that he was going to have. Figured out that with the titanium it works good when it's cool, so I start dipping my handle in water. The drill press seems to just kind of cut right through it. Five minutes, Blade Smiths. Oh, no, he's drilling hot again. Yeah, oh, no. exactly. And I think, you idiot, what are you doing? I've been down this road once now, and I know it sucks. You're going to have to drill this thing cold. I'm looking at the clock, and like, I realize that this is taking a lot of time. At this point, the hole is not as deep as I want it to be, but it's deep enough that if push came to shove, if I make it to the second round, I can attach a knife to this handle. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Placement, shut down your machines, drop your tools. This first round of competition is over. All right, gentlemen, for the first time ever, we had you smiths make handles for blades that we haven't even described to you yet. So now it's time for the judges to take a look at those handles. Dorian, you're up first. Please present your handle to the judges. It's kind of weird without having a blade there. <laughs> I think it did a really nice job. I like the way that fits at the top of my hand. The twists work out as a good palm swell. And you've left enough material back here on the end to give a good counterbalance. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting material to try to move, especially with a file. It, uh, uh, if you move forward, uh, you might want to find another way to hog material. And all in all, good job. Colin, please present your handle to the judges. Well, Colin, you got a hole in there finally. <laughs> it's not super deep. It's about that deep for my eye. But nice job with that. And the twist is visible, but it has a lot of sharp fissures in there. Regard, it's certainly got a longer side and a shorter side to it. If you move forward from here, there's some cleanup that's going to need to happen. But it was great to see that you were able to ditch the first 30 minutes and still catch up and put in something very handily. Jared, you're up. Well, Jared, I think you really nailed it. It really fits well in the hand. Also, it's quite symmetrical. Now, in your guard, right here where the handle meets my finger, they're a little bit rough edges, but it's just a very interesting fit for my hand. It feels really good. Great job. Thanks, sir. All right, Jimmy, you're up. Please present your handle to the judges. I like the detail you got going on here. Your guard and your pummel's got a nice kind of a setup shape-wise. Fits my hand really well. If you move forward, I would love to see you clean these flutes up. It looks pretty cool. Nice and done. Bladesmiths, the judges have completed their deliberation. The bladesmith leaving the forge is... Colin, your handle didn't make the cut. Please surrender your handle. Made a mistake early, and I just wasn't able to catch up. You know, it's obviously frustrating going down first. Nobody wants to be the first out, but I'm going to have experience with titanium now. Honestly, it's not a material I'm looking forward to using again. I'm hoping that maybe one day I can come back to make a knife, just sort of see if I can do it.